Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. And today our guest is Sarah Humphreys. We're going to be talking to you about the Vision 33 customer portal. And so now I'm going to stop sharing the screen and turn everything over to my good friend, Sarah Humphreys. Sarah, welcome again to Wednesday Web Chat. Awesome. Well, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining today's Wednesday Web Chat with Carl and I. It's uh, nice to be back here with you all. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah, and I work really closely with the Vision 33 products. And today, Carl's asked me to jump on and talk to you a little bit about our customer portal. That's for SAP Business One. Did you know that according to Microsoft, 90% of consumers expect an online portal for self-service? I didn't. A customer portal is an increasingly important customer service touchpoint as it allows businesses to put the power into the customer's hands, giving them, giving them the ability to get instant access to information anytime they need it without the friction of having to reach out to you directly for anything, whether it be your you know, invoices, orders, deliveries, all of that. Vision 33 recognized that need for a customer portal and the, also the need for it to integrate with SAP Business One. And so we built it and we've been helping companies empower their customers ever since. So today I want to share with you some of the key features that the customer portal offers. First and foremost, ordering. So with an easy to use order pad interface, your customers can add items to an order, instantly reorder at their convenience and view the status of their order whenever they need to. Your customers will have an easier way to buy from you and your fulfillment and accounts receivable team will no longer need to field customer phone calls and emails about your orders. Customers can also easily view their profile information, review any sales orders, place new orders, track order shipments, check in on service calls and access any billing and payment information that you have for them. Customers can easily pay their bills with either credit card or ACH payments. And it allows you to streamline payments, transactions, and benefit from lower fees and quicker processing. The account details from SAP Business One are pulled in automatically and in real time. So it ensures that the customer has the most recent data and uh, recent transactions. And even invoice changes are updated in the portal in real time so that your customers have up to the minute answers and ultimately don't have to reach out to you for getting those answers. With its customizable front end, the customer portal provides another opportunity for you to build your brand. So you can change things like logo, um, colors, that sort of thing. So there's a seamless flow from your website into the customer portal. And you can give your customers secure access to that information. So they only see what information is relevant to them. And that's done through a unique username and password. And then if they you know, forget their password or whatever, it can be reset from the portal as well. And lastly, what you know, we all need nowadays is the ability to do business in multiple countries. So multilingual support, uh, multi-currency is also there as well. Um, so it can be displayed in any spoken language. Customers can make payments and view their reports and their balances, invoices and pricing in any currency that they're comfortable with. So it allows you to do business and gain more market reach to, you know, customers you wouldn't normally have access to. So with that, I just wanted to share a brief overview before jumping into a demonstration of the customer portal. And I'll do a high level overview of some of the neat functionality that the customer portal has. So here you can see the customer portal login page. And this is specific to you know, our organization. And we share information, information with our customers that um, you know, they log in and can see based on their own interactions with the company. Before I do this, I want to jump over to SAP Business One just so that you can see where you would give access to your customers. So underneath the business partner record, we'll go ahead and grab an organization. And we'll grab this one. Underneath the contact person. So as you're working in SAP Business One, um, the add-in is built directly in SAP as well. So you'll be able to manage all things portals within SAP. So if you look here, you'll see interconnect user setup. And if you click that, it allows you to plug in their username and a temporary password. And in our case today, we're talking about the customer portal. Um, and this way you can decide, you know, what customer contact sees what in the customer portal. So for some customers, you may want them to have, you know, the ability to place orders in quotes. Others, you may just want them to be able to, you know, view reports. So those are just some examples of where you would kind of decide what roles each user has. So with that, I'll go back to the customer portal 
and I'll log in so you can see, you know, how a customer would interact with the portal day to day. On the homepage, we have some examples of the reports that you can share with your customers. So um, in this example, we're giving detail on any quotes, orders, uh, invoices, payments, that sort of thing. And the nice part about this too is that it's real time. So as information is being you know, generated in SAP or the customer is placing an order in the portal and you know, needs to have access to that detail and report, they can see that in the portal automatically as well. So there's never a time where they will have an outdated um, document or piece of information. So one of the main things that customers ask for when they want to have a portal to access you know, any kind of interaction with your business is to place an order. Um, you know, without having to call you or send you an email, having an easy way to log in online and just do you know, any kind of order they need. So with that, I'll jump over to the place order. And this is the order pad that we talked about a little bit earlier where um, it allows the user to come in and you know, look through the items that you have. So in this example, I'll just go ahead and uh, you know, grab a few things. So as they're building out their order, they can see you know, the item name, the item code, the price of that item, and they can specify where they want that shipped. And I'll go ahead and add a couple of other items. And you know, they can also split it out. So they may want um, you know, a certain set of items shipped to one location and another set shipped to another location. Um, that's totally doable within the customer portal. And then if needed, you know, they can come in and add additional quantity. That automatically adjusts the line total here. And then I'll come up and add in any relevant, um, you know, PO details. If we scroll down, you'll also see that they can select the, the shipping method of their choice. So this is pulling directly from your SAP business one as well. So um, it would outline any of the shipping methods that you have configured in your SAP business one. any notes so you can gather some feedback from the customer if they have any comments or um, concerns related to the order that they're placing they can do so within the notes section and then if we come down and hit the refresh totals button this is another thing that we see a lot of customers needing especially in business to business sales is um, you know each business client we have may have a special pricing that was negotiated. So being able to pull that in from SAP Business One when they're placing that order is you know, especially helpful in you know, keeping that transparency between the customer and yourself. So with that, I'll go ahead and submit the order so you can see what that looks like. So you'll see me switch between you know, how a customer would use it and then what you would see from a backend perspective in SAP Business One. Um, I just wanna give you the flow of you know, a customer interaction. So with that, I'll go ahead and jump over to SAP Business One and we'll take a look at our sales orders. And as you can see that order coming through from the customer portal with all the relevant items, quantity, pricing, um, you know, what contact made that order. Um, so you have full access to that information right away. So you know, gone are the days where a customer needs to call you up to place an order, they can log in place an order online and that automatically flows into your SAP. So, you know, you have that too. What I'm going to do as well, just to show you, you know, the order to cash cycle, um, we'll go ahead and copy that to a delivery. And then I'll just fill in, you know, any tracking info because we all know customers want to see that sort of information. So now that we have that delivery, you know, the next step would normally be that the customer calls you or emails you just asking what the status of their order is, um, you know, whether it's delivered or, you know, still outstanding. So what you can do in that instance is provide them with a report that lets them know, you know, what their delivery statuses are. So what SAP Business One and the customer portal have in common is the ability to share query reports. So whatever information is in SAP Business One, you can share out to the customer portal. And in this case, we're sharing delivery details. So if we drill in on the delivery I just created, the customer will be able to see you know, what their shipping detail is and um, you know, have a full scope of what the status of that delivery is. So um, you know, there's no need for them to, to ring you up or send you an email in that case. And if they wanted to as well, we do link uh, the related documents down on the bottom like SAP Business One does. So if they wanna come back and just confirm what they ordered or you know, take a look and potentially reorder that, they can do so as well. Um, and that outlines you know, all the relevant order details here. 
And then the last step in the you know, order to cash process would be um, the invoicing component. So I'll jump back over to SAP Business One and I'll go ahead and copy that delivery to an AR invoice. So, you know, as you're, you know, doing your normal SAP Business One processes, you can share that back to uh, the customer as well in real time. So as soon as you make that AR invoice available, the client can either come through to the pay button um, or there's another option as well to come into the billing and the statements. Um, but as you can see here, the invoice I just created, 446, um, you know, $65 in this instance, they can come in and review that as well. see all the related documents. And then if we come back, they can go ahead and actually make a payment here as well. Um, so we do have the option to either pay by credit card or uh, make an ACH payment if they're in the US. Uh, in today's example, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, make a credit card payment. And it asks them to fill in you know, all the relevant details related to their credit card. So we're just gonna do that now. And then the, the address. So. I'll put in US and my address. So uh, street, city, you know, state, zip, any information around contacting you. Uh, you can see down at the bottom, this is the invoice that we're pulling in. So invoice number 446 for today's date. Um, you know, it's not due till August, but we're gonna go ahead and pay that anyway. And I'll go ahead and hit the pay button. So here we have the success screen. Once the customer makes a payment, they'll also have a transaction reference that they can copy down for their records. Um, and then they can also take a look at their account balance with you. So this outlines you know, um, their account detail, their payment terms, statement date, any outstanding invoices, um, and also their aging report. Another cool thing about viewing your um, account balance as well is up here at the top. So if you hit the three dots here in the corner, you can see you know, what's outstanding to the organization. But I wanna show you in SAP Business One what happens when the customer places that payment. So if we come into, uh, what is it? The banking under incoming payments, you'll see here, Sarah's widgets, this contact made a payment on invoice 466. So if we open up that AR invoice, you'll see now that it's closed. And if we right click and take a look at the relationship map, you can actually see the full order to cash process. So, um, you know, from where the customer placed the order, you created the delivery and the invoice, and then, you know, they made the payment. So that closes out all those transactions. So it just really helps to enable the customer to be self-sufficient, self-serve, um, place orders, make payments, all of that administrative effort that we would normally have to do on our side, um, they can do that themselves. And we see that in SAP Business One and only need to action where that's needed. I'm gonna jump back to the customer portal here and I will go ahead and show you the payments report. So if the customer is ever curious about, you know, their recent payments or just wanna make sure that they're keeping on top of payments to you, they can have a payments report as well. Um, again, it's just a query being pulled from SAP. Uh, in this case, you can see here, you know, the, pay the payment details and the payment date. One other thing I'd like to show you as well is just the opportunity to share information. So the customer portal really began as a way to display information that's in SAP Business One in real time to a customer. Uh, so with that, you can kind of pick and choose what's relevant to your customer and what you think they might want to see. Uh, in our case, you know, we have an order analysis, we have a special inventory report, you know, the status of production orders. So it really depends on your customer and the way you interact with your customers that, you know, you can pick really what kind of query you want to write. And I'll just show you a few examples here. Um, because you can also pick out different, you know, styles. You can have the grid report. You can have the pivot, uh, which is what's in front of you now, as well as a, um, a chart example. So this here would be probably my favorite where you can see, you know, data year over year, or if you want to look at it month over month or quantity by item. So it really allows the user to kind of come in and play around with how they want to see that data. Because as you know, um, people consume data in different ways. So being able to put that back onto the customer and give them those tools to be you know, self-sufficient is, is truly important. Um, and they can also save different views here. So if they wanted to look at, you know, what do we have here? Orders not shipped yet, orders 
you know, items ordered this year. Um, so with that one query that you share with them, they can ultimately see um, different views of that information. So, um, you know, one query can be quite powerful. One other thing that we see sometimes is the, the customer coming in and submitting a service ticket. So what that does is allows the customer to fill in any relevant service call information in the portal. So I'll go ahead and say, you know, I need a tech, help me out. And then we'll set a priority. And then this is where you would give some detail around why you need this service call. Um, let's just say, you know, the computer is not working. <laughs> and then down here, you can also come in and, uh, you know, add an attachment if you need to. Sometimes people want to see uh, references to what the service call is for. So that's a place to do so. And when they submit that service call, they can have a view into that. So again, another report, um, just some examples of service tickets in the past. Here we are. And then what we do is in SAP Business One, that'll come over under the service module. So I'll open up a service call here. And you can see, you know, today's date, send a tech uh, from Sarah's widgets. So as you're working on, you know, servicing this client, you can share information back as well. Um, so any remarks that they provide to you are here. And then if you, um, you know, want to communicate back to them in the resolution field is where you would do so, um, you know, just for simple purposes here. And now if we look back to the customer portal, again, a common theme across the customer portal is, you know, allowing the customer to uh, be more self-sufficient. So with that, um, we also provide a bunch of service call reports. So when you communicate back to the customer, you know, what the status of their service call is, they'll see that in real time as well. So I'm just going to drill in on that example so you can see, you know, just how that comes back through to the customer portal as you're working on those service calls. So one last thing before I close out today's demonstration uh, would be the dashboard. So like I mentioned earlier, customers consume data in different ways. So being, you know, able to share that in, you know, a grid report or a, a pie chart or whatever the case may be just allows you to communicate in a more efficient way with your customer. Um, and it makes it more personal as well, because as you know, everybody has access to the internet these days and just wanting to do business online is much more important and making that easier is ultimately the goal. So with that, I'm just gonna jump back to my slides. Do, do, do. and just talk a little bit about some of the benefits that we see um, with the customer portal. So one of the things, of course, is improving customer satisfaction. They have access to the customer portal, you know, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, um, and can access information whenever they want. So that opens you up to more business hours, right? So you can receive orders and payments on the weekends if the customer has time. Um, and again, ultimately freeing up some cash flow for you where you have an integrated ordered cash process. Mm -hmm. The tight integration between SAP Business One and the customer portal means that you and the customer only need to enter the information once. So that takes away you know, all that administrative effort and really just increases the accuracy of that order or invoice detail, or sorry, uh, incoming payment detail. And then ultimately it also makes it less costly. So we don't have internal staff managing all of the, the back and forth between you and the customer. Having the customer do all of that themselves means that the internal staff is freed up to do, you know, bigger and better things like growing your business, for example. And I thought this was neat. Um, according to Bain and company, they say that, you know, great customer service can lead to higher customer retention rates and increased profits. So that's ranging from, you know, 25% all the way up to 95%. So customer portals are huge. They're a great way to interact with your customer, but ultimately grow your business. Um, and, you know, with your customers in full control of their account information, you'll have more time, you'll have more money and energy, of course, to focus on, you know, doing more important things. So if you want to learn about how you can boost your customer satisfaction and reduce your administrative efforts with an interactive self-service hub for your customers, you can reach out to your customer relationship manager, myself, or um, I just added in this link here as well so you can easily access what we have related to the customer portal on our website. And I'll take a, a quick pause there, Carl. Um, do we have any questions come through about 
the customer portal or? Yeah, we have a couple, uh, Sarah, actually. Um, the um, credit card authorization, uh, you know, there's lots of different services out there that people can subscribe to and, you know, some are more expensive than others. Do we have a choice of, of what uh, authorization services can be used? Yes, you do. So um, I'll just jump over to SAP Business One again briefly so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, and if we take a look under the admin side, I believe it's here. Here we are. Um, Vision 33 has various payment gateways that are supported under the, the customer portal. Um, so if we look here under the gateway, you can see there are tons of options. Um, so, you know, depending on what one you're working with, I'm not sure if you, you're comfortable saying today, we have a full listing on our um, support documentation as well that I could share out. Um, but if, you know, you don't see what you're looking for here today, you know, reach out to us, of course, because we can always add those in. Okay, that's great. I didn't realize we had a whole list like that that <laughs> we've done this for. I, uh, so that's, that's awesome. Uh, also, um, is it possible to create, call it, let's call it, you know, management level views uh, where you could share, view, um, manipulate data at a high level for like a specific group of uh, customers or, or just a specific customer? Absolutely. So with uh, the dashboards here, so I'll jump back over to the customer portal um, and you'll see here there's a drop down. So right now we only have the one example uh, just for demo purposes, but let's say, you know, you have a management team within the organization that you want to see a high level overview of, you know, a lot of different information. They're just queries at the end of the day. So whatever information sits in SAP Business One, you can create a report based on that. And, you know, you can make it fancy too and share a nice dashboard like this. So that way when management wants to, they can log into the web, you know, whether it's on their cell phone or their computer. Um, and see all that information. And again, it's in real time too. So it'll always be up to date. So I can, I can have a report that is really specific to just one customer. Yeah. And they're the only ones that would see it. Exactly. And that was um, another thing I noted earlier around, um, I'll just pull it up here. I got a lot of screens going on. Um, let's just see under the contact persons. Oh, I should grab myself. it would be under the roles. So you could set up a specific role that says, you know, I want to view data related to this customer and then have a query running behind that. Very good. And then you could okay. say for management, I want them to see those, those types of roles. Right. So, and you, you showed where, you know, um, like a user can do, you know, drag and drop in some reports, but let's say I'm uncomfortable with uh, my users, my customers doing that that they can still see the report, but just not have the ability to do the drag and drop? Um, in terms of the reporting on the drag and drop, so the pivot report, I would actually have to check if you can lock a pivot report. Um, I can see the need for doing so. Let me take that one offline and um, I'll take your note. Carl, do we know, um, do we have contact information for this one? No, that's just my question. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's a good one, Carl. I've actually never come across that before. Um, because the query itself yeah. is pulling in all sorts of information, but whether it can be locked, that's a good one. You stumped me. I'll yeah. find out for you. <laughs> um, and, and the last question, this one's from me too. I noticed when we processed that order, you know, the, it was tax exempt. Now, is it, if I have some customers that are tax exempt and cu some customers that aren't, the system automatically manages all of that? Correct. So we follow um, a lot of what's in SAP Business One already, and we just display it out to the web. So if you have certain customers that are tax exempt, that will pull back over to the portal. And then if they're not, it's the same idea. And Sarah, this was really designed kind of like a, a B2B uh, function, right? Business to business. Mm -hmm. Is there, is it used by any of our customers on more of a, uh, you know, B2, B2C type of basis? So what we've seen in the past, because, you know, everybody wants to have access to a customer portal, whether you're a business client or not, um, is that some folks will have almost like a website web page that allows them to have a customer um, register. So what they do uh, is pull in like, you know, the basics to create an SAP business one business partner record. And then mm -hmm. from there, the internal organization will create a business <clears throat> partner in SAP and then give them access to the portal. Right. So so it is strictly B2B in this instance where it needs to be created in SAP Business One to give access, but there's always ways to get, you know, those D2C customers in there. Right. Okay. 
Well, this is great, Sarah. And uh, I think, you know, some of the uh, statistics that you shared today uh, were really great. Once again, thanks everyone for joining us today on Wednesday Web Chat, and especially thanks to Sarah for uh, taking us on this great little tour and uh, the importance of uh, dealing with your customers in this kind of real-time experience is more and more important. And uh, certainly the last couple of years have taught us that for certain. So uh, if you're in need of a customer portal, please be talking to, to us at Vision 33 to see if this is the right fit for your needs. And until we get to see you again on another episode of Wednesday Web Chat, we hope you have a good day.